All right, we're back. I don't know why the stream markers aren't working. Please excuse but me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. Uh, look who it is. This morning's aim yeah, is to answer boner. your questions. Lona. And check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. How are you this fine afternoon? Otherwise, I'm doing well. Will lack How are you? And we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you. I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice. And that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table <laughs> in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Sir Gregory Well, Hall. I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. Didn't know what? Emperor Palpatine was so in this game. Was playing it, trying <laughs> to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Well, you see, Monsieur Bonaparte, I would rather you'd have forgotten me for a minute. William, I am sorry. But I cannot follow you this time. George? What? I am against William. Please excuse me. I cannot commit the United States to such an enterprise. It's just too risky. Well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. This and Madame Duchesse that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, Camille. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques, my lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jacques, we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. Oh my. I shall no longer work for you. Wait! Derise, you just can't help it, can you? Stop trying Only to Only chance. Hero, man. Oh god. Uh what's his Peru. Vulnerability psychology. Monsieur, I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things. You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. I've got an idea. If you're so afraid of Lord Mortimer's reaction, what if you join sides with Sir Gregory? Wake up, Louis. Home or Mortimer, it's the same thing. Oh, no. Shoot. I couldn't tell him anything else, either. Failed. <laughs> could have found out Jack Peru's secret. I could have followed Lord Mortimer. I could have found out a secret from Napoleon Bonaparte. could have found out about... Sir Gregory home. Damn. Should have reverse psychology. I know I didn't really have many other options there. <clears throat> Unfortunately. Alright, let's see points. So we have one in just about everything. We'll max that out. Um, <laughs> big brain. Questioning. And do conviction. 
Do that. Yeah, let's do that. Dangerous stakes. Damn. I wanted to save him. I don't understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Peru has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again, it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us praise Louis' gesture, anyway. You did what you could. Yes, it was very noble of you, Louis. It wasn't your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Why do we get to choose a book now? Okay. Well, we only have these three, so... What do you want? Louis, I wanted to talk to you a moment about what has happened. All this is tragic. But I wanted to thank you for doing what you could. I wasn't able to save him. You couldn't, Louis. You mustn't blame yourself. It is not your fault. I knew this would happen. Wait, what's his, uh... Does he have more and more conviction and science? Reduced by three. Yeah, I know we can this do has it. nothing to do with me, my lord. But don't you think you're partly to blame? It won't escape your attention that he incriminated you before he took <clears> his <throat> own life. I heard what he said. Yeah, Monsieur Peru appeared to blame me for his condition. I certainly encouraged him to succeed, but I wasn't aware he couldn't handle the pressures of the situation. Of course, his duties in Paris were very difficult. The choices he had to make were burdensome, but that was the path he had chosen. Should I not have helped him to succeed, perhaps? You heard him yourself. His duties as judge got the better of him. Did you push him into it? I wouldn't say push, but I did encourage him, yes. I thought it was my duty to help him as much as I could to become the court judge he dreamed of being. I thought he was capable of it. It appears I was mistaken, unfortunately. What a pity he didn't come and speak to me. What a waste. What are your plans now? What do you mean? For the conference. After the disappearances of both Elizabeth Adams and my mother, and now the death of Mr. Perlou, I should imagine that your guests are all packing their bags. This might come as a bit of a shock to you, perhaps because it was so difficult to bring all these figures together, but I am convinced that none of them is preparing to leave. Are you serious? They are all very experienced politicians. And though they are, of course, affected by the situation, they know full well that such an opportunity will not come again for a long, long time, if ever. They each represent their nation, and know full well that what is at stake here is far greater than the death of poor Monsieur Peru. You'll see. I am confident that they will all be ready to resume the conference. If you say so, allow me to take my leave, please. Of course. You ought to get some rest. Oh, Louis, uh, one more thing, please. What a pity you didn't support me during the conference. I hope I can count on you on the day of the vote. This major project needs men like you, Louis. And you never know, right? Maybe by then, I'll see things differently. Well, uh, thank you for allowing me to believe in that possibility, Louis. From here on, I shall make it my mission to persuade you to change your vote. Be my guest. But I hope your arguments are very, very persuasive, because I'm not the only one who isn't on your side. Oh, rest assured, I am working on it. Very well, then. I'll see you later, my lord. Hmm. It's so interesting how, like, they can... Like, when talking one-on-one, -on -one, majority of people are pretty professional, even when they... 
they don't agree with the same thing, which is how it should be. Especially because it's, it's supposed to be something so um, it can really change things that happen. You good, my guy? Sorry, Dorishi. I have no time for traitors such as yourself. I beg your pardon? If you are here, it's because Lord Mortimer agreed to include you. And what's the first thing that you do? You betray him by following Sir Gregory and bending over backwards to turn Washington against him. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was free to vote as I pleased. <laughs> I didn't realize I had to vote for Lord Mortimer in order to show my gratitude toward him. Hey, he invited me here to come and look for my missing mother during his high society party. I'm sorry, truly sorry. I don't know all your customs yet. It's just common decency that when invited to a man's castle, you don't go and to pee on his boots. Is it too much to ask? I guess it is. That got nowhere. Yep, yeah, okay. Still going this way. But yeah, even though I'm I'm wondering what I don't know. I, I'm both I'm both ways with more and more. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, he seems like a good guy, but I just feel like he's hiding something. But we don't really have any type of proof saying otherwise, saying that he is or isn't as bad as a guy as he might seem. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? That is a terrifying painting. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis. Ah, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. Pre- Thank you. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh, so which one is Hillsborough's firm? Should be this way, right? Yeah. Once again, something, something, something. Voice. <coughs> Emily, Emily, are you there? Answer me, Emily. It must be blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in, quick. I can't understand what she's saying. Shoot. Uh, okay, so there's a balcony. All these rooms will lead to that, it looks like. Mayor's interior guarding. garden. See if this works. I have to get inside Emily's room through the shit. It's locked. No way. It's too sturdy. Why do we? Damn. Damn it. It's closed. It seems like the key is still in the lock on the other side. That means I won't be able to pick it. Or I 
I could do as I did the last time in the tower room. Yeah, do that. I wonder if I can get the key by pushing something underneath and making it fall. Buy corn decorated with a my dearest son. A map? This should do the trick. Perfect. This card should do the trick. Slowly, Louie. Nice and slow. Nice. Genius. Must act fast. Wait. I think it's this one. Nice. Huh. It's as if there are several people inside. <gasps> what on oh, earth is no? You, mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk after everything I've done Whoa, for what? you. You are joking, I hope, right? Oh God! I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You frizzy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. Oh, I'm God. the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then. Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I... That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? <laughs> well, Actually, though. Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait. I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... You handed me something. I wasn't feeling very well. And you handed me something. What was it? My handkerchief. And you stained it with your blood. You still have it, as a matter of fact. But she already knows all this, Louis. It's a waste of time. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, uh, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. Ah. Uh, does she have a weakness? Ah, oh, shoot. Emma. Emily. Psychology. She's immune to logic. Immunity. Okay. Was already by the chimney. When we arrived at the manor, someone was already present in the Great Hall. Who was it? George Washington, President of the United States, Louis. 
Of course you are able to reply. I'm the one who told you. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Do you remember if we saw each other that night or not? No, not after going up to bed. That doesn't prove a thing. I was the one who told you that. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. <sighs> I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on! She's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? Shoot. Uh... We found ourselves in Mortimer's secret gallery. What relics did we find? Property deeds in Mortimer's name dating from very long ago. Is that all? You mean all those mythological charms? So, there was the so-called Pandora's box that wasn't a box, actually. The famous golden fleece that reeked of dead goat. A broken sword that could have belonged to anyone. Is that enough? Yes, that's enough. You look captivated. Of course, he bought it. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade! Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. I shoot. Is it... Describe last night, please. Louis, it's embarrassing. You know full well what I did last night. I want to hear you say it. We spent it together, of course. What? I came to your room after the conference, and excuse me if I don't go into the details, but I was mightily impressed. What did you do? Look how you are reacting, Emma. It's not surprising I didn't tell you about my night with Louis. You slut! That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. Emily is opposite you, Emily is behind you. I'm pretty sure it's the one that's opposite. Oh wait, no, Emily is the one behind me. You are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go! You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go! Come, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I- Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. I hope we chose the right one. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in! It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. I think we chose right.
I think we actually chose right. I hope we did. <laughs> Good God! They're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Definitely don't go that way. Uh, so the garden. How do we get there? The dining hall? Richard Gallery. Maybe through here? I don't exactly remember. If we can go through this room. Yeah, okay. Is something on the table? No, not that one. I don't think we can open that. Uh, there's something right there. A fragment of amber. Nice. nice. We got another skill slot. Is this way? I think so. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then right after we walk in here, we should be able to go to the right. Whoops. Left. Nope. Right. This way, that way. Down the steps. Louis! At last, there you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, Time I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, mother. If only. Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and rational. I and know that's you exactly are going to what find we're this doing. hard to believe. But what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they got horns and a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. More and more, it's definitely the Boogeyman and Father Christmas. Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if home does look the part. But <laughs> I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another. 
But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Bertrand was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? Property deeds, secret study. I went beyond the nightmare, Mother. You understood the Masonic date. 1191. Of course, it was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. They spent a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. He had charmed the demon, and so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me, did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Did you see his maps of the world? He has contacts the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years, and I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. Well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand and over several centuries. I am proud of you, Louis. I found your notes written in lemon juice. Where all eyes size you up. At one stage, I was so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Congratulations, Louis. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. The urn? Yes, I did. Why? Too bad. We'll deal with it later. You mean the conference? How can you explain that someone manages to bring together so many important figures without anyone knowing? And without any security or personnel. I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. I don't want to say. Louis, I am proud of you. You came all this way. You found me. You have surpassed me. You taught me everything I know. Right. How did it all begin? I saw him! Wh what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before, Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him. Or rather, he found me. He was young, charismatic. He was flamboyant. You mean Mortimer? He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. 
Kaczynski helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me, and in the end, he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. Hmm. But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. Shit, she caved. And you accept it. Please don't be stupid. Oh, really? You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. Mm. I'll save For the my... moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchert's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? I don't know if one I believe thing. her as much as she's saying he's 100% a demon, but I do think that she's right about things. Did you negotiate while the cannons for Bonaparte? What happened with Emma? What happened with Elizabeth? Uh, did you what negotiate? did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. You're probably right. All right, let's Good. go. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He demands that the Spanish hand over Louisiana to France. Oh, knowing him, it won't stop there. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. <laughs> Are you going to tell me why we're here? There. That's why we are here. Bethlehem, Nazareth, Bethesda. But I witnessed. I could have been a witness of Napoleon Bonaparte's resolution. I could have spoken with Foggy about his motivations. I could have learned something from. Really? Al Aziz? Ooh. This thing is uh, taking some turns. For sure. Uh, let's do questioning. Double game. Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, what? of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather five objects before we try anything. Are the five objects the keys? Exactly. 
we have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. A cross? Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, hey, I went dashing yo, out. And it must Dev. have fallen from my pocket. This is taking a turn, Dev. Let me tell you. It is taking a remember, mother, I, I'm wild turn. Let me think. You were running? I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain? I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I got search back the from a, a haircut. Two hour wait and 30 minute cut. Ah, oh my God, dude. I remember that Ed those Jesus. days. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? That's crazy. To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. The place that I so get my haircut at used to be like it. that too. It's the Bible of but Judas now they that do. is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Nice. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, place we won't starting be able to, get popular. to work out this cursed That's mechanism. how the place that I get to was. Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to I'm worry about I'm pretty sure those. we're about to, like, raise hand, Jesus I from the dead or something. Mortimer's secret study behind like, his nightmare. actually, or have like some type cup? of memorabilia yes. from him. Yes, I him. saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very Not even lying. Remember mine. what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. My way home. I hate the mobile app too much to delay. Oof. Alright, dude. When you get home, I'll, uh, I'll tell you what's going on here. Because this is wild. What do you mean by the concordance of dates, exactly? Don't worry about that. We already have them. They are written on the back of the message I just gave you. One last thing before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them, though. Take Washington. Es I'll let you know. All right, sounds He's good. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough, Look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember... The code to get out of the secret office is 6466. Oh man. This is taking a wild turn. Like I actually don't even know what's going on. I do know what's going on. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if I can work it out myself. Looks like a kind of control panel. It looks like certain mechanisms I've seen before. I wouldn't be surprised if I had to put the claim of the third cross in it. You ought to go, Louis. If someone finds us here, the situation might well become seriously complicated. 
I'm 95% sure that's like a grave. And that's the, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, famous cross of Claymont the third. Perfect. Oh, we found One it. He found nice. The Lord Sesterce from Roman Gaul. Can we put it in already into the thing or no? You ought to go, Louis. If someone finds us here, the situation might well become seriously complicated. So what's the... The cross already found. Some nails. Whatever took it back hidden in this desk room. Gutenberg Bible, used by Emma in the tower room. The exegesis of Judas, secret room. And the sphere, not sure, okay. Let's see if we can get to Mortimer's room then. Getting very interesting now. Amber. Amber. I can see why she said we wouldn't believe her, but uh Yeah. <laughs> The secret room. This might be where the. Okay, yeah, it is the gallery. Um, we could do the secret room. I think I'm gonna do that like one of the last things. So, if we take this, that'll take us upstairs, and then okay. Let's try to go to Mortimer's room first. A fragment of amber. The song of Roland. Get that done and out of the way. Feels his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. The tower room. That's on the second floor too, I think. Oh, the tower room's right here. It's right across the hall. So we can actually do that first. Tower room to the left. It is. Okay. Ah, Louis, oh Jesus. Glad you're here. That's terrifying. Blasted. He's gonna talk about my mother. Come and see what I've found. There are Wait, why is why do we randomly get pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney? Someone's been burning something here. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain. There must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? Diversion. Wait, is he... George Washington. Shoot. Let's use one of these. Okay, so he's immune to manipulate. Ah, that's good. Good thing we found that out. Ah, I see. I know what it's about. Do you know who was doing their communicating in this room? Yes, but of course we must keep it to ourselves because it is still a sensitive matter. Volner and Elizabeth had an affair. Volner hinted that he'd found a way to remain discreet about it. I admit it is ingenious. Well, I would never have guessed. Delighted to have helped, but I still have to find my mother. Of course. We shall see each other later in that case. <sighs> Wasted enough time. The Bible. Okay, so we need to grab the Bible that's in this room. Oh, the Bible's still there. 
Ice. Lord Mortimer is not here. Sweet. I'm still like, we're on episode three. So we still have like four and five to go, which is kind of crazy. And we're on, does it tell you what level we are on? Not exactly sure. This time, it'll be a lot quicker. If I remember rightly, the code was 1191. 1191. Of course. Hey, what's in here? Uh, some nails. Okay. The back of his office. Ah, oh, there they are. There. Those are the nails I was looking for. Ooh, analyze the nails or take them? Let's just take them for now. Hero cards. No, don't read them again. I nope. should have learned my lessons in card reading a little better. Feathers, pigeons, probably. That's new. I'd say it's onyx or obsidian. I don't know what's written. I don't recognize the engraved symbols at all. What on earth is that? Mortimer's locked in there. Weaknesses of the Human Psyche by Gilhelm Trimor. Gilhelm Trimor. Trimor. An anagram of Mortimer. Wow. Arrogant enough to publish writings on mental control. Full view of everyone. I wonder who he's writing for. Hmm. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Six, four, six, six, if I remember correctly. Nice, okay. We didn't even have to enter it. A painting. It looks unfinished. A piece by Lord Mortimer, I presume. Hmm. A rather avant-garde technique. The titan against men. <laughs> How ironic. The bird's still dead. Armillary spear?
Okay. I think there's one. Ah, oh, wait. An armillary sphere. Perfect. <laughs> that will save me some time. I only hope that he isn't going to realize it right away. Nice. All right, the last one. Aegis. That in here? No, it's this room. Exegesis, I mean. Right. Let's see if the statues are in place yet. We'll this sort of guy. With the Gorgon. That's good. Yeah. It's in the right place. Yep. The lantern is already in the right position. Turn toward the shield. Shield toward the sword. Well, that's oh. good. The statue is already in the right place. That statue is not positioned correctly. Towards the hero with the shield. Open sesame. <laughs> ha ha ha. Wait, can we close this? Oh, it's close. So that's Pandora's box? An urn? Mother seemed worried that I was able to open it. Hmm. I wonder why. The Ring of the Nibelungs. Even if Mortimer is several centuries old, I don't see what part he has in this legend. But given all the relics preserved here, it wouldn't surprise me if Mortimer claimed it was Excalibur. Caesar's Laurel Wreath. Hmm. If Mortimer really is what my mother says he is. It could mean... No, that's impossible. No, no, not Caesar. What if these are all the people that he had one time had been? Yo, that would be wild. So that's the exegesis of Judas. I hope Mortimer doesn't read it very often, otherwise he's going to notice that someone stole it. But that's just too bad. I need it. All right, we got it. Right. I've got what I need. Now let's not waste any more time. Back to Sarah. So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement III cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc of the door. What theme did you start with? As the fresco shows the birth of Christ, I placed one nail in Bethlehem. One in chapter two, and one in verse six. The iris opened a little. I thought it was normal. 
Behind the aperture of the iris, there is a duct in which I put my hand. I felt something like a valve at the bottom. I thought by turning it the door would open, or the iris would open completely, or something else would happen. Instead, I felt something like an oh. axe cut off my hand. I really thought it was the end of me. What Damn. did you do then? Well, although I had made some unfortunate choices, I was lucky in that Mortimer was well stocked with drugs. <laughs> I raided his supplies of medicine. All right, my turn now. Go ahead, impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. Oh God. Uh, I kind of want to follow something for this. Okay. Place the cross inside the tablet on the table. You'll need to figure out the specific dates to unlock that aspect. You'll need to, you'll need to highlight the nails on the notches of the wheel. XIX. Seventeen and on Galathia. Analyze the fresco. The fresco clearly shows the birth of Christ. Louis, I can assure you that that is not the solution to this enigma. This fresco's only purpose is to mislead. I know that now. Please, focus on another theme about Christ. We'll have to trust her. So, XIX. Oh my god, dude, I wouldn't know how to do this otherwise. Well, there's all the blood. Oh boy. It works. Well done, Louis. I hadn't seen those other wheels. Try connecting the theme to see if it goes all the way. You'll need to align. They only need to align the wheel with the dates, icons, and moons. If you fail the trial, <laughs> you don't want to leave. Invalid. You need to align the wheel. The T symbol should be facing the north. Oh God. Oh man. And why is the inside wheels inside? If we fail, he'll lose his arm. The wheel of the icons should see the T symbol facing north towards Bethlehem. Okay, I see. Analyze the inside wheels. There must surely be a connection between the wheels. The icons. Analyze the wheel of the icons. There different icons on this wheel, but it looks like some of them can't be connected to the other wheels. Analyze the wheels of the moon. Oh wait, we need to go to the mechanisms? Okay. So, go to this. Turn the wheel of icons. So it's that guy, which it looks like it's a nail. In Bethlehem. And then XA. Or 8A, I mean. Turn the wheel of the dates. 8A. Okay. 
And then the final one is, I believe, the... Should have covered in blood. The moon covered in blood. Wheel of the moon should have a full moon covered in blood facing southeast. So like that. The T, 8A, this moon, and the blood is southeast. Did it correctly? Have Lou stick his hand in the hole and press the level to com the lever to complete the episode. Oh boy. Moment of truth. Put in your hand. <laughs> oh boy. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. Pull the lever. Take your arm out. I never doubted you, my son. Oh my gosh. If we would have... <laughs> big head. If we would have failed that, he would have cut his arm off. Oh my gosh. Hey cat, I'm a new friend today, proud of me. So I have, now I have someone to play Division 2 with. See what the hell is going on. Dude. Oh my gosh, this is taking a wild turn. Okay, so basically, while the credits is rolling for this episode before we start the next one. So there's still two episodes left, which is insane. Absolutely insane. But anyways, so we found the mother. And she said the entire time that Mortimer is actually a demon. Not figure, like not figure of speech or anything. She is straight up saying that he's a demon. I don't know if I 100% believe that he is a demon, but there's something definitely going on. And I believe with all the information that she found so far. So, from that, I, she took us down to this cave where there's a crypt, it looks like, and I think it has something to do with Jesus, because we had to go all the way to the secret room, get the book of Judas, we had to get some nails, which I believe are the nails that nailed him to the cross, um, we had to get a sphere, and... Uh, we had to get the regular Bible that we found in the room that she was in and What was the last piece and then we had to find a cross? So five things that we found came back to the thing and we solved the puzzle by using a guide <laughs> If we would have failed the guide His arm would have been chopped off because that's what happened to her When she tried doing it, she did it incorrectly and when she pulled the lever, the axe came through and chopped her arm off. So, Mortimer is the guy with the beard. So, the, the leader of everything. Her thing is that she believes that Mortimer and the other guy are both demons. So, there's definitely something supernatural going on here anyways, because of the visions for, uh, that he's been having. So, I mean, that in itself right there, it, there's something else going on. Um, the other thing is, the other guy did shoot himself, the the Frenchman. <laughs> and Washington is low-key Jesus. So, when we were in the secret room, we found a thing that had a bunch of names on it. Um... Or no, it was a bunch of properties for centuries of, of uh, being signed by Mortimer. And what I kind of came to... Well, actually, Louis said it, but I'm starting to believe it. If this whole thing is where Mortimer is actually is a demon, 